I've always loved to write. When I was young, I used to spend hours writing poems and stories, and I would dream of having my books featured on the bookshelves at bookstores. Of course, today, with the internet, the dream expanded to having my books featured on and sold on retail online stores like Amazon. And I've made my dream come true. Keep watching this video to find out how I did it. As many of my viewers know, I had cancer. During the time when I was resting and recovering, I decided to tidy up my backup hard drive. And as I did that, I found the old stories I wrote over the past decades. Having seen them, I had an idea to complete and publish them. As I faced this new and exciting endeavor, I had many questions such as, you know, how to write it, complete it, and where to publish it. But still, I was very excited about this. It was not easy to write an e-book. I must be honest about that. What to write, for example? Well, as in which of my stories do I start first, you know? How to write it? What is the e-book format? So many questions I had. Thankfully, I had help. The first thing I did was to do some research. I came upon many references to the topic of e-books. It seemed that most people were reading it these days. They read it on Kindle, on tablets. That was when I decided to publish an ebook. The question now is how to create an ebook. I'm a member of an online community of entrepreneurs. So co coincidentally, after I decided to write a book, I noticed a few members who are established best selling authors. I reached out to them and asked them for guidance. They were very kind and offered uh, very good advice, very helpful advice. Of course, I also Google uh, and watch YouTube videos as part of my research. But nothing beats having real people who are so helpful to guide me. You know, if you'd like to join this community, I left a link in the description below. One of the members in the community was very helpful. His name is Mel Waller. He's an established author with many best-selling books on Amazon. He pointed to a video on his ch uh, YouTube channel titled How to Create Your First Ebook in 30 Days or Less. If you'd like to watch that video, I will leave a link to it in the description below. It was a very helpful video lesson. It really showed viewers step by step on how to create an ebook. That is, you know, book size, book format, layout, design, book cover, and all. It was very helpful. I followed his guidance on the video lesson. It was to be my first ebook, and I was a little intimidated. Then I saw many videos on YouTube teaching how to use AI to write ebooks, and I decided to get AI's help too. But I won't get AI to write the book, I'll just use it to help me do research. I did the rest of the work that is writing, editing, formatting, etc. Now that I've done all the required research, I'm ready to start writing the book. But before that, I must decide what the book is all about. After watching Mel's training video, I decided to not write the stories I had yet. I decided to follow Mel's advice and write a book about quotes. At first, I thought about writing a book with, you know, motivational quotes. As I did further research using AI, I found that it would be fun to write a book about funny excuses that people can use in their lives. So I decided on that. Again, after much research, I came up with the title for the book. It is 100 Humorous Excuses to Use in Awkward Situations. Here's the cover, uh, book cover. During the research, I found that there is a specific format for an ebook to be published on Amazon. So I did some research, you know, scout the internet to look for a good one. I did find one, but you know, in the end, it turned out to be not so good. After I tried using it, I found that it would result in wrong layout and format for my ebook. 
Then I found out that Amazon actually offers a free template for paperback manuscripts. True, it is not a template for ebooks, but who better to get the template than at the place where I intend to publish the ebook, right? So I did decide to also publish my ebook as a paperback anyway. So this is perfect, just perfect. I would write my ebook using the paperback template, and then I would use Kindle Create to repurpose what I wrote into an ebook. This way, I was ready to publish both an ebook and a paperback at the same time. So I downloaded the template and I used it, and it worked out fine. With the template available, I started to write my book. I followed Mel's video training and filled in the title and the content. Um, for the content, I worked with AI to research humorous excuses, but there is work to be done here. I had to go through what AI suggested, I had to edit the codes when required, also to check if there are any copyright or plagiarism issues. After that, I had to select the codes that I like to have it in my book. Here's a tip for you. I tried ChatGPT and BARD to help me do my research. After some tries, I found that ChatGPT was the better option. BARD gave me some really bad results. ChatGPT's results were much better. So there you have it, the step-by-step -step guide to creating an ebook with the help of AI. Once more, they are step one, the book idea, step two, research, step three, follow the established author, step four, get help from AI, artificial intelligence, step five, decide on what the book is about, step six, find the right template, step seven, start writing my ebook. And you know, so are you ready to write your first ebook? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions or anything to clarify, please drop a comments below and I will be happy to help you to help you. I wish everyone great wealth and success.